they pushed the uh, highway right through the river. come off the uh, expressway but uh, as you will see the expressway is coming pushing through the tunnels for the motorway and another area of outstanding natural beauty that once was This afternoon is proving to be a real tough ride. I've only done 42 miles in about six hours, just over six hours. Uh, it's been very slow, it's been mainly uphill and I've still got about 14 kilometers to the next town where I'm hoping I should call it a day. It's about uh, quarter to five now. But I've luckily found a little shop off the road that sold a cold Pepsi, which is just what I wanted. This road is proving to be a brutal road. I'm in the lowest gear possible. I'm doing just above walking pace, which means it's easier to pedal than it is to walk. But I've been doing this, I think for the last four hours. And it really is all uphill. And looking into the distance, there doesn't appear to be any sign of it going downhill. So just sort of keep pedalling. Just keep pedalling. It's quarter past five and I've made it. I don't know where I've made it to, but I've made it. And I found myself a bingua. Delightful location. But the room is clean. And I am glad to be here. This is how some Chinese live. Cooking area, flasks for hot water. And then uh, through into their lounge flypaper, uh, TV, and then through into their shop. Well, this is the town I'm staying in tonight. Well, I've just turned the corner and this would appear to be the main street. It's Sunday, September the 7th. It's 7.45 in the morning. I just stopped for some breakfast. Uh, doing breakfast on this roundabout. And I've bought one of those long things that she's putting in there now.
They've even set up a place where you can eat on the roundabout. As I cycle towards Zatong, the scenery has changed again. Less hills, uh, the crop is corn. When I said earlier it was less hilly, I take it back. I've just climbed to just over 7,000 feet. And on the hillside here are what looks like uh, graveyards or graves or altars. All the road sellers here are selling apples. Nice looking apples. They've got thousands to sell. Competition is fierce for selling apples. I hate to stop and just buy one. Seems a bit mean. Strange as I enter this town, there are lots of half finished buildings. More unfinished buildings and more apples in Zartong. Maybe there's a tax break if you don't finish a building. That's the ancient city of Zartong, nestling beneath the hills there. And then next door you have uh, New Zartong, nestling in the hills. And I think it's very clever the way they've painted the tower blocks shades of brown to merge in with the rest of the surroundings. Very clever. I almost missed them as I cycle past. Now as I come up to this roundabout in Zartong, I would hazard a guess that the sculpture is supposed to be an apple. Now that is a sign I like to see. Oh, the sign's got even better. That's just made my day. I can handle the tunnel now. Now along this road is Chinese car washing. They've got their hoses coming out from uh, the mountain. They've got brushes, they've got buckets, they've got soap. And they're offering to wash people's cars and vans. Chofa. 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 Chofa, yeah. Oh. Okay. Okay. Okay, here I come. Okay, she she. Well, now they're taking a picture of me, and she's taking a picture of me, and I'm just the subject of a. <laughs> I'm just the object of interest here.